Oh, there we go. A signing. Uh, one which I thought came completely out of nowhere. Uh, for the, as the title of the video says, Sunderland have not long ago officially completed the signing of Southampton left-back Jake Vulkins, I think. Yeah, Jake Vulkin. Now, if I've got that name wrong, I do apologise in advance. So, any Southampton fans, let me know in the comments below what you think of it, what you think of this decision. Because um, I know that apparently some Southampton fans, I think it was a Southampton fan on Rook Report, said he was disappointed that he wasn't um, staying to match. Sorry, staying, staying to match Ryan Bertrand, or at least, you know, to sort of, like, give him competition, basically. But anyway, I'll quickly read what the statement says, um, for those of you who say aren't as tech-savvy. So, here's the statement. Sutherland AFC is delighted to announce the signing of Jake Vulkins. Signing on loan until the end of the 2021 season, the left-back moves to the Stadium of Light from Premier League outfit Southampton. Vulkins has made two Premier League appearances to date, uh, earning his debut in July 2020 against Brighton and Hove Albion before starting against Arsenal in the top flight earlier this week. The 19-year-old has, has regularly been a part of Ralph, Ralph Hassenhutl's matchday squad this season, while also featuring heavily for the South Coast Club's under-23s. Vulcans has also represented at England at youth level, turning out for the three Lions at under-17, under-18 and under-19 level. During his time with the under-17s, he played alongside the likes of Phil Forden and Jaden Sancho as England reached the UEFA under-17 <laughs> European Championship final. After moving to Wearside, Vulcans said, I, I want to come here and play games the team, I want and help the team get promoted this season. I feel I can bring my qualities to the team. I'm good on the ball and I can deliver crosses. So hopefully that allows the team to score more goals. It's a big club and I can't wait to get started. And finally, head coach Lee Johnson said, Jake is a bright young player who is clearly rated by Southampton. Our fullbacks have a similar philosophy to him, defensively and offensively. So we think he will fit in nicely and we are looking forward to working with him. We are grateful to Southampton for entrusting us with his development. So that's the statement that came out um, at the time of recording, probably literally about a minute ago. Um, but yeah, so one of my quick thoughts on it. Um, obviously, it was a signing I uh, didn't... Well, obviously, I didn't know who this guy was <laughs> until now. But if he's coming from Southampton... And bearing in mind, Southampton, in the last so, last decade or so, have produced some pretty good um, prom pretty good players. Adam, Lala right, Adam Lallana. Uh, I was going to say Nathaniel Kleintech, but I think they got him from Crystal Palace. Uh, oh, there was a couple of other ones. Callum Chambers, but he hasn't done as well recently. Um, Luke Shaw being another one. You know, I should probably have looked up who Liverpool signed because they signed to sign all of Southampton's players, don't they? Um, obviously, Virgil van Dijk, they developed him because they got him from Celtic and developed him into a really good player. Now, I know van Dijk wasn't with Southampton's academy, but Southampton have got a very, very good youth structure and one that is clearly trusted among, is well regarded, I think, among English football. And the fact, and I think one of the big reasons in, in Southampton letting Vulcans come here is the fact that Lee Johnson is typically very good at, at getting youth players and developing them and train and you know train them and just working with them and turning them into a very very good um, player. So it's good to see. Um, I'm hoping he actually starts because uh, as you as you guys know, the last couple of games I haven't really rated Callum McFadden. Uh, I think it's good competition for Denver Hume, mind. And by the way, Denver Hume, we need to get that contract sorted out, please. Um, but in saying that, yeah, Jake Vaughan's pretty content with that signing. Um, obviously, there was the rumor about Jordan Jones. Well, I think from what I've been told, that apparently that is pretty much all agreed, bar a medical. Um, but we'll have to wait and see whether that actually comes to fruition or not. Hopefully, it does. So, hey guys, I love you and leave you, and I'll either see you for the announcement of Jordan Jones if it gets done, or if not, I'll see you after the Gillingham game tomorrow. Take care and stay safe, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It would mean a lot.